name is Eric Badillo, and I'm with Bolton, Te Bolton Technical. And today, we're gonna to be going over some terminations with the LMR 400 and the LMR 600 cable coax. And in front of me today, I have a um, couple pieces of cable, and I'm gonna go over briefly on how to terminate these cables. This is um, LMR 600, and we have an LMR 600 connector. And we're gonna uh, prep this cable for termination and I'm just gonna go over and how, on, on the basics of how we terminate LMR 600 cable. So first you wanna get your connector out of the bag as so. Make sure you have everything there for the proper termination. This, okay, and this is gonna be your prep tool for the LMR 600 here. It's the LMR 600 prep tool. Um, basically, it, it engages when you open up the tray and then you close the tray this way. This tool here cuts the cable and to adjust any, um, to, to do the adjustments when you're terminating, you have this lever here that you can uh, unscrew and it, you can actually move back and forth to make adjustments on the termination. So I will gonna insert this cable LMR 600 into the prep tool like so. And then I'm gonna lift up on the termination tool and I'm gonna make sure it gets a snug fit. I'm gonna press this uh, prep tool all the way down. Make sure it gets a good fit, it's solid. And I'm gonna press down on this leverage here and that's pinching the LMR 600 and it's a blade inside that's gonna cut the cable accordingly. So I'm just gonna press down and turn. Do a 360 turn all the way and then go all the way back. You can do this either, either way, just make sure you do a 360 turn. And as I'm turning, the cable will be being uh, cut accordingly. And when I feel I got a good, good cut on there, I'm just gonna Press the exit out. If it gives you any pullback, that means that you didn't, the blade didn't cut well. So I'm just gonna go over again and I'm gonna put, apply more pressure and make sure that I get a solid cut. And then I pull out and then you have a, basically a correct um, prep for the connector. So there's a second process of terminating the cable. On the other side of this prep tool, there is a, another insertion where you're going to press down and it's going to actually cut the jacket off the LMR 600. So I'm going to go ahead and press down, take the other side of the prep tool, press down. And this right here is going to cut the jacket. As you see, as I'm turning, the jacket is coming, becoming stripped. And like so. So that is a correct prep for the LMR 600 and a correct prep for my connector. Uh, the one last step to do for the prep is also on the LMR 600 prep tool. There is a groove here that is gonna go over the center conductor. This will prep the center conductor for the pin that goes over the center conductor. So I'm gonna apply this like so, and I'm just gonna twist, and that's gonna basically uh, lacerate the center conductor and prep it for my center conductor connector. So it's a pin that will go over like so, like that. And basically it just preps it to make connectivity. And before I do all that, you have the sleeve that goes over the LMR 600. So after I've done prepping everything, I'm gonna apply and get my sleeve, apply it over like so. And there's two ways to do this. Um, at, obviously, if you're making an indoor jumper, we also have a weather sleeve that will go over everything, but this is just a quick termination for the LMR 600, so we'll just leave the sleeve out. Um, but so I'll apply this metal sleeve over, like so, and I'll apply my center conductor, like so. And now the last piece is the connector. So you apply this connector over the center conductor, and then you make a, a you press down on it and it will make a, you will hear the snap and you will, uh, it will be a snug fit. So that last step is to bring my center conductor up, my sleeve up like so, and it's gonna look like this. And the last step is to terminate these this sleeve. So I'll take my LMR 600 prep tool. This is a LMR 600 prep tool or a crimper. This is a crimper here. And um, basically uh, this is what's gonna crimp the LMR 600 to um, be sealed and ready, ready for use. So I'm just gonna apply my crimper over the table as so, and I'm gonna slide it all the way up, and I'm gonna get a snug fit. Now, 
I want to apply pressure on the on the uh, connector so the connector won't slip off as I'm crimping the uh, LMR 600. And on my backhand here, I'm just making sure everything's fit. So I got it, everything good, snug fit, and I'm gonna apply pressure. You wanna give a good little pressure, and you're gonna get a good clamp on that center conductor and the connector, and it's already crimped. So as I release, you have a certified connector on the LMR 600. And that basically on the coax cable, it would say Bolton Technical LMR 600 or 600 coax cable. And that's how you know the type of cable that you are crimping. So this is the correct way to prep an LMR 600, like so. And for ready for use, I just popped the top off and I was screwed on to an antenna or to a coupler, um, like, like so. So the next cable will be the LMR 400. Now this is a smaller cable, um, same process but smaller cable um, and basically it's going to be the same exact tool but an LMR 400 prep tool. Same same use, same entries in and out. Um, so the, the same channel where you push it through and you clamp down to prep the uh, coax cable. So now we're going to uh, terminate an LMR 400. And to identify that, you're also going to look on the cable. And the cable will say 400 on the coax cable there. And that's how you want to identify your cables. You, they, also, these cables have the, the footage of the um, cable when you're um, pulling out a new spool of LMR 400. So it has everything, you, all the information you need to know what type of cable and the footage that you are working with. Um, so this will be, if you're at home and you're doing a uh, self-install kit or something, this is, you take your prep tool and apply it like so, clamp down, and you'll feel that pinch. When you feel that pinch with the cable, you're gonna just turn 360. You know, do it three or four times to make sure you get the good cut, good solid cut. And then you're gonna apply a little pressure on the knob and pull back. So when I pull back, you will see that there is a correct turn, uh, prep for the uh, LMR 400. Now the next step is to take the back side of this prep tool and there's an entry there that you're gonna go through and you're gonna basically push through and basically it's gonna cut the jacket. There's a blade here that will cut the jacket for you at, at, at the correct length. So this, you turn 360 all the way around just like so and as I'm doing that you see the jacket slowly peeling off for the correct termination length. And when it's completely done, the, the, it will spit out the jacket and you just release and you have the correct prep for the LMR 400. Now the last step is also with the groove in, with on inside the uh, LMR 400 prep tool, there's a groove you see and you're going to apply this groove onto the center conductor and you're just going to do a twist back and forth and what that does is it's cutting the center conductor and uh, going to prep it for connectivity for my center conductor pin that uh, goes over the LMR 400 um, center conductor. Or this, um, so this is the LMR 400 connector. It's the same kind of setup. You got your sleeve, you got your, your, your sleeve, you got your pin that goes over the center conductor. So um, you're gonna take this and it'll go over like this. So when you're, but first you wanna apply your sleeve. You apply your sleeve as so like that. And then you got your last step is the connector that goes over the pin. And you press down and you, like so, and it's ready for prep. So you just bring your sleeve up, push it all the way up. And sometimes it might give you a little fight, but it's just a good snug fit like like so. And then here's the LMR 400 crimper. This is a, oh, sorry. This is the uh, crimper here. And um, this will go ahead and do the same process of termination. So it's gonna be the same process. You just snap it to release it. And you just apply, put it over your cable, slide it all, all the way up. And basically you're gonna hold the center conductor in place and hold the connector in place. And then you're gonna squeeze for a complete termination. When you squeeze, it's gonna clamp it down and you can release. And that is your termination for the LMR 400. And that's the correct way to prep and terminate coax cable. 
I hope I answered all your questions today and showed you how to terminate LMR 400 and 600 cable. Thank you.